Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, so recently, had a situation where my wife's car, uh, her battery went completely dead. There was a, about a two amp load left on it for 24 hours and the battery was beyond dead. It was probably six volts, if that. And uh, you know, we had limited options at the time, so I ran out to a store and got uh, this guy. And it says on here that it does a thousand amps up to a six liter engine. And uh, she had a 3.6 liter six cylinder engine, so I figured this would be more than enough. And uh, was disappointed. Um, her car is one of those push button start cars, and it did power the car up, uh, but as soon as you hit the start button, the computer just shut down. And you know, I'd like to say that if you had a car with just a standard old-fashioned key that you turn, it might have had a chance. Um, but after a few tries, we were pretty much out of power and uh, ended up having to just jump start it using another car, uh, which actually took quite a while. It probably took about 25, 30 minutes before I could uh, start her car. So, I mean, it was quite a load uh, trying to get that thing going. Uh, but it did finally go. But now I'm wondering, um, you know, how much power does this really have? It says a thousand amps, and clearly it's not. And this one says 1700 peak. And, you know, these numbers here are kind of meaningless. Nowhere do they put the cold cranking amps, or sorry, just the cranking amps even. And that's really what you want to measure. Um, these peak numbers, I have no idea what that means, but that's not what you're going to get when you start your engine. And um, so I thought I would spend a minute. I have an amp meter hooked up. I've got a thousand amp load, which is about 1200 watts. And I'm going to just test both of these. Um, you know, the traditional one as well as uh, the modern one. And I've got to say the size, I mean, the build quality of this is fantastic. Um, it has safety features, you can't do it backwards, it doesn't spark. Um, this one you can hook up backwards, there's no on-off switch, so you cannot hook it directly to the battery or you will get a spark. Uh, so there's a few downsides with this besides the size, and the fact that this battery is more likely to fail in like four or five years uh, than something like this. And uh, I'm much more likely to have this in my car than that. So with that said, you know, let's just do the tests and let the numbers speak for themselves. Okay, so you can see I'm hooked up to the load tester here, to this pack. Um, the battery charge is, it says it's uh, right on the bottom of OK. And if I hit the meter here, it should be around 12.6. That says 13 and a half. So this is fully charged. Um, so I'm going to hit the load button and just focus in on this, which will show you how many amps. And just so you know, this actually is, is, a, is a 100 amp load. So at most, I'm expecting to see 100 amps. Uh, this also has a scale on it where it's estimating the amps that this battery can do um, based on the voltage drop. So. You know, it's kind of hard to get an accurate test with only a thousand watt load. Um, ideally, you'd chain a few of these together to get a more accurate number. Anyway, let's try a hundred amp load. 96. And it's estimating about close to 400 amps. Not bad. So that's about what I expected from this jump pack. Um, it was holding the voltage uh, pretty steady. You know, I held that button down for a good five seconds. Uh, so let's now try this guy and see what kind of power output we can get. Okay, so this one's also fully charged. Um, this does not turn on until it senses a voltage. And of course, I'm not connected to a battery. So in order to override, you need to do this. And this just bypass the safeties. It turns the power on um, regardless of what's connected to it. So I'm gonna hit the override. And 
and now we should have power and now I'm going to hit the load button see what kind of amperage we get and voltage for that matter and you can see actually the voltage on this pack is lower uh, it is right around 12 volts uh, this one this other pack was closer to uh, 13 and a half so that right there is kind of a strike against this the voltage is a bit low anyway let's try the load all right so it was delivering only about 80 amps and I'm gonna hit it again just to see what this says yeah so not as good, I'm kind of surprised. Actually, lithium, I know, has a lot of power in it. But as you can see, it wasn't reaching the full 100 amps. And this was dropping down to probably about nine volts, uh, which was kind of borderline bad. Granted, this is geared more for a lead acid battery, but you can see the difference, um, definitely see the difference. So um, is this thing bad? I'd say no. Uh, it's a good uh, boost. You know, if your battery is just barely doesn't have enough power, this should do it. Uh, but if your battery is more uh, drained, you know, you might need to go with something a little bit bigger. Anyway, just wanted to do this uh, for people to get some more information on these. Um, never look at these numbers and think that that's what it is. You got to look up the cranking amps. Uh, this one, I did look it up. They said around 200, uh, but I kind of doubt that based on the test I just did. Uh, it's not even reaching 100, so, you know, take it for what it's worth. Uh, maybe mine isn't working well. Who knows? Anyway, hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.